You know what they say, all toasters, toast, toast. Hello everyone and welcome to Binging with Griffheim Steamroller. I'm your host, Griffheim Steamroller, and today via the very, very numerous requests I've gotten from you guys, we'll be making the toast from uh, Mario Hotel on the Philips CDI. This is a pretty iconic dish and kind of hard to make. So let's go ahead and start by getting our uh, what we're going to need out. For one, we're going to need a toaster. Any toaster will do. Obviously, the uh, the more outlet or the more, more toasters plugged into an outlet, the more accurate we'll get. But unfortunately, I only have this one toaster uh, at my house. Now, beyond that, we're going to need some bread. Now, now I know in the cutscene they use sourdough bread, but unfortunately, all I have around my house at the moment is potato bread. So I hope this will satisfy all of you guys. And if it doesn't, then in the future we can do a remake of this with sourdough. Now beyond that, uh, we never actually see the food, but it's safe to say there's something spread on the toast. So this is where you get to improvise a little bit and put a spin on it. Personally, my favorite toast topping is peanut butter. So here we have some uh, no-name brand peanut butter from my local grocery store and a knife for spreading. So now we're gonna move on to our first step. We're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and take our lovely piece of potato bread, which is not made of a real potato as I learned, otherwise it would taste like a hash brown. We're then going to take our non-hash brown uh, style bread put in the toaster and push down that handle with the might of Zeus. If you don't, sometimes your toaster won't click it all the way down and that's really problematic. So from there we just sit and we wait. And we wait. My god, do toasters take forever? You guys ever realize how long toasters take? Uh, don't mind me there, I'm just looking at my Twitter and... Ah, oh, and there we go, it looks like I seem to find some sort of funny meme on there, most likely relating to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Anyway, so we just sit here, we complain a little bit, we check if the toaster's working, you know, listen to see if it's actually cooking. Ooh, nope, wouldn't do that. Do not put a knife in there, Griffheim. You could die if you do that. That was really dumb of me to even joke about that. I mean, to even attempt that. That wasn't a joke. Definitely wasn't improvised or scripted. And now we wait, and we wait, and ah, the toast is done. It didn't jump up like it does in the cartoon. Here, let's redo that one right Aha, there we go. The toast is actually done now. So now what we want to do, once you have your toast out of toast, you want to grab it really gently. I'm not, don't burn your fingies. If you burn your fingies, that's not very good. Now, once you've taken your scorching hot toast out of the toaster, you can scooch the toast to the side so you have more room to film because your camera's field of view is very kind of funky to work with. And then from there, what I need you to do is take your knife and your peanut butter, scoop some peanut butter out of there with your knife, and spread it all over the toast. Once you've done that, your food is complete. But I know what you guys are really here for. You guys like seeing the cross sections because you guys are the weirdest people and get off on cross sections. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that bread straight down the middle and then bam, look at that gorgeous cross section. Look at that, look at that peanut butter stretch. Oh, that's so good. It is so good. Now, unfortunately, I forgot to record myself taking a bite of the peanut butter toast because I decided to share it with my sister-in-law who was in the other room. But I can tell you this, it turned out wonderfully. And if you guys are interested in me covering any other of your favorite foods from fiction, just feel free to leave a comment. I'm, I'm more than happy to cover any other in the future. In the meantime, though, if you want to check me out and support me on uh, Twitch, my name is Griffheim Steamroller on there. I'd be more than happy for you to stop on by, and it should be really fun. We play Mario Maker on the daily, as well as, well as plenty of other games. The link will be in the description down below. Anyway, that has been this episode of Binging with Griffheim Steamroller, and I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day, guys.